So the last basic shape we have to work on here actually isn't a polygon. We're looking at circles, where, because we're not talking about line segments, we're talking about curves, calling it a polygon is not really fair, but it sort of fits in the same kind of patterns, except because we don't have like those nice segmented pieces when we talk about the length of the outside, you don't really get perimeter, we instead get that idea of circumference, where when we talk about a circle, so just any old circle you can think about here, the main thing that we have to bear in mind is the idea of a radius and a diameter, where we say that the radius is half of the measurement from the center to an edge, and the diameter is the measurement from the edge all the way through the center. If you want to think about what a circle actually is in terms of points, what you could do for yourself is imagine drawing a single point in space and then saying, okay, let's collect all the things that are the exact same distance away from that point. And obviously, because I'm drawing this freehand, you can't quite get a perfect circle that's actually not humanly possible to draw a perfect circle. But the idea is, if you took all those points and you just kept filling it in more and more and more infinitely many times to collect every single possibility, what you'd end up with, up to obviously your ability to draw, is a circle. Where this value right here, from the edge to the center, is your radius. And then if we draw some line that goes from edge to edge, through the center, that's where you get the diameter. And our two big formulas in the context of circles are ones in terms of these measures, the radius and the diameter, and a special number called pi, where pi is a value defined as the ratio of the diameter to the circumference, to the entire outside length of the circle. So if we want to find circumference, we just flip that over and we say that the circumference of a circle is going to be pi times the diameter, while the area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. So if you want to think about this in the context of the example, let's say that we have a circle with diameter 40 yards, and what we want to do is find the circumference as well as the area. So for this, what we can do is just take down those measures in terms of those formulas. For the circumference, what we would do is just take pi times that diameter measurement, so 40 yards, Usually when we have stuff like this, it's a bit cleaner to leave it in terms of pi. So you would say this is 40 pi yards. Or you can approximate this as about 125.7 yards. And then for the area, we would have pi times the radius 20 squared where it's kind of a funny thing in this case that the square of the radius ends up being the diameter times 10. So for this, we would get 400 pi square yards. It doesn't always happen this way. It's just a strange coincidence here based on the measurement of the radius in this case. Or if you prefer, approximately 1,257 square yards.